ladies and Michael B's. We're going to take this consecrated sphinx, my dude. Because <clears throat> that's how you do it. Do you know how many cards you can draw with this? Katie, how many cards can we draw with this consecrated sphinx? Thank you. My love. Water Sports Drew, thank you so much for the resub. I forgot to resub, so here we go. Nice. That's what I want to hear. Water Sports Drew, you are awesome, dude. All of them? Well, then we deck ourselves, my love. That seems less safe. Thank you. Mmm. Spaghetti Toucher, what up, my dude? Hype train incoming. I don't know what's happening right now. Icarus, thanks so much for the resub. Jundasaur, thanks so much for the resource. Resource. <laughs> resource scription. You. you guys are awesome. Wow, they really let that pack go to time, huh? We could take Blightsteel and hope, hope to hit a Tinker. Or a Sneak Attack. Because there's no blue cards in here that we care about. And there's no other cards in here that we care about either. Oh, Jundasaur, two years. Wait, it says 11 months. I don't know, man. I'm gonna have to, I think we're going to have to wait 13 more months. Hey, I'll take Blight Daddy. All I want to do is take big fat idiots. All I want to do is take these big fat dummies. I want to take a Consulate, but then there's a Grave Titan and a, and a Gideon Jura. Petterm Snender and Ghost Spell Slinger. I don't even know what you just said, Daniel. Daniel, I have a, a, a deck in the queue for you, but I, you might need to change it. What, what you have now is Mono White Death and Taxes, and me and Rob tried to do this, but like in Pioneer, there's just not enough Death and Taxes creatures, if you know what I mean. There's not enough like Hate Bears. Because you don't get like Leo, like like things like Avon Mind Sensor and Leon and Arbiter aren't really that good because you don't have like fetch lands, and you I don't think you get even the first Thalia. I think you just get the second Thalia. Uh, oh god, I don't know what to take here. I think it's just Kozilek. Oh fuck, I don't even know, dude. Thank you. Kozilek gives you a bunch of options, I guess. So salty. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. Do you guys see this sub train? The the hype train thing in the top? I always forget. I think it's Blurster. I do like Psalm Simulacrum. I like Brazen Borrow, but I think we might just want to go Artifacts? You just get Big Thalia. Yeah, that's pretty much it, dude. All you draft is 10 mana spell? Michael B, Blightsteel is a 12 mana spell. Thank you very much. Long time YouTube lurker finally able to catch a stream while I'm in the process of moving out of my own out on my, out on my own for the first time. Dude. Thank you. Rylos, congrats, buddy. Snoozle Moo. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. You guys are killing it right now. Oh, I like a Venser. I also like a Splinter Twin. But like, do we really need to be a different color yet? I don't think so. I think Venser is pretty good. I actually don't know what the hype train is, but we're at 72%, guys. <coughs> Rylos, thanks so much for the support, buddy. I appreciate you, man. Thank I hope your I hope your move goes well. Oh, look who it is. Katie herself can can be troubled to subscribe. My my own my own dearest. I think we just take Venser. Opposition. Oh boy. Oh boy. We definitely don't have an opposition deck yet, but is the hype train competing with the rat train? Send them on down to rat train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the rat train? <laughs> have you guys ever been outside? I want to take opposition. I think it's definitely the strongest card in that pack. Oh boy. Basalt monolith. Oh God. Probably. Yeah. Turn through basalt monolith is a turn four sphinx. Just think about it. Devoted Druid. Are we green blue? And then we have like tooth and nail targets if that happens. I would say so. Oh. Swaggy Bay. This is literally Katie's favorite card ever. Thank you. Well, maybe not ever, but oh we're at 92%, guys. <clears throat> oh my god. 94% actually. I feel like we're we can get we can we can get this. We can make this happen. 
<clears throat> Do bits add to the hype? I think so. I think you took us from 92 to 94. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. I guess it's just Night of Autumn and we can like splash it. Oh wow, Master of the Wild Hunt is good with opposition. Eh, I'll take you just in case we're... Alright, alright. Guys, 13 seconds. 12 seconds. Oh my god, we're so close. Come on, guys. We can do it. 8 seconds. Oh god, it's oh, it's all over. 94% and we couldn't close. Unbelievable. That's sad. Well, better luck next time. Hope you guys are happy. <clears throat> now I'm just sad. I have to take Hunter at the vet at 4 o'clock today, so... That's when I'll be done streaming for, for this for this juncture. Oh, wow. Draw a tree speaker and plow under as the last two friggin' cards? Oh, my God. Good gravy. Last pick, Terastodon. You know what? Sure. Sure. Kozilek, Blightsteel, and we get a channel. Yeah, they will. They're going to have me wait in my car. Yeah, that's common. And Katie already, already, already uh, prepped me on that. We've been talking about that all week, actually. Thank you. Mox Pearl. Oh, Mayhem. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. You guys are awesome, man. Is this Mox Pearl? I don't love a Mox Pearl in the in the deck that needs double green, double blue, double green, double blue, double blue. <clears throat> but like, you know, I guess it's fine. I'm not going to not take a Mox Pearl if that's what you guys are thinking. This is what we're talking about. <coughs> oh, Fractured Identity. That and Night of Autumn and the Mox Pearl makes me real tempted to splash white. <coughs> This card is just fantastic. And I think it's way better than any of these other options. Yeah, we're just taking Fractured Identity here. And then we can put Knight of Autumn in the deck. You like Elder over Fractured Identity? Hossmany, have you ever cast a Fractured Identity, my dude? Unbelievable. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da. Lotus Cobra. I like Lumbering Falls. This deck, always we always have uh, really bad mana, so I'm just going to pick up all of the Bantlands that I can find up until the point where... We have enough. Oh, Savannah. Oh, God, Crater F, though. Oh. Getting, getting toasty in here. Oh. There's ten cards. The Savannah might actually come back. The Crater Hoof will not. And we have Tooth and Nail. Oh, Haji Boy. What's going on, my dude? The Hajiest of Haji Boys. <clears throat> Oh, 
Oh, I like a stirring wildwood. Probably more than a hydroid crassus. Yeah, I don't really care about Garrick. I'd rather just have the second land. Little WFH, little smoothie action, and now little Frank stream. What's WFH? Working from home. I got you. Primeval Titan? Our two six drops are Primeval Titan and Consecrated Sphinx. I mean, if we can cast our spells in this deck, I don't think we lose, but that just means we're probably going to 0 3. Incubation Druid? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, Thank you. Battle Sphere. MimTG Pyro. Thanks so much for the resub. Two years and I get to watch some Frank Hugh on my honeymoon. Are you guys on your honeymoon? I guess you guys are self quarantining honeymoon. <clears throat> eh, Ballista's fine. Eh, oh, I was hoping the. Yeah, all right, that's fine. I don't really. That's whatever. <clears throat> this deck looks great so natural one too <laughs> frank cube on honeymoon we just went to texas to visit my sister who couldn't make our wedding oh man be careful guys I like Wall of Roots here. <clears throat> I also like big moles. I also I like Gaia's Cradle, but I don't know how many creatures we're going to have. Like, we only have... A lot of our creatures, like, we have 16 creatures, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 of them cost 5 or more. So, uh... I just think it's Wall of Roots because we just want to make sure we have consistent rampage. And I think Gaia's Cradle, based on the the uh, the way this draft... Oh, <laughs> you're, you're just going to pass me an on-color Mox, you maniacs? All right. Sure, dudes. Sure. I'm, I'm okay with it. <clears throat> Yep, that's pretty good. <clears throat> now all of our mocks are on color. That's correct. I like Vivian a lot. Other options are Urza, which I don't care about. Harmonize. Like, Vivian is just a better Harmonize, right? Like, you usually get at least three cards off of a Vivian, whether you're killing something, drawing a card, or drawing a card. Keep in mind, both of our moxes were passed to us. I need to shower after watching this. It's okay. Wait till we wait till we actually play the matches, and then we'll get. Uh, it's not. It's like we only have two fixing lands right now. I'm really looking for lands here. I think our deck is pretty good so far. In terms of quality, I don't even think I care about Terastodon to be honest. When I have these fat daddies, oh. Ugh, Botanical Sanctum, you suck. You're still the pick. Still the pick. Easy Botanical Sanctum. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm also pretending I'm on a honeymoon. Oh, that's sad because I'm not even there. You're like, I'm pretending you're here. I'm like, oh. Why did the arts just go away? <laughs> like, what's happening right now? Why is it gone now? I don't understand. Uh, Woodfall Primus is, like, one of my favorites. It's really hard to process this for Shut me. Shut up and take my money! Oh. 
not allowed to attack. <laughs> okay. All right, hold on. Let me write this down. We'll do this next. Factor Fiction is great. Carry Added is great. <clears throat> I think it's just Carry Added. Okay, I really want my art back. Wasn't there a trick to doing this? I could have sworn there was like a way to get this to get the to get the try adjusting the size. Nope, that don't do it. Oh god. Why did it just why did it just leave now? And we're definitely taking this, and then I'm I'm actually gonna fire up another version of Magic Online to see if we can fix it before. Oh, Oracle of Moldaya. Mind Slaver. Yeah, let's take the Oracle. <clears throat> okay, quit that. Bring you over here. Thank you. Steven C with the resub. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Well, still, still no art. All right. I guess it just disappeared. Oh, now it's gone. Now it's back. All right. Well, Mirari's wake is interesting here. All right. You're gone. You're, you're gone. Let's take Mirari's wake. Eh. All right. Nothing great here. Where are all the lands? Like, I don't understand. Like, who, who's taking all the lands? <coughs> No, well, the art's back. That's good. Alright, I'm trying to check to make sure I write down that stipulation correctly. Yeah, you can get out of here. The Gaia's Cradle didn't come back. Thank That's surprising. You. Oral, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Thank you for helping carry me through. Like, This is just mutual support, man. Because this is what I do for a living. So it's like... You guys being able to subscribe. Not allowed to attack stip. That's the stip. Okay. Primer's Paris. Not allowed to attack... That's a big that's a big fat yikes for me, dude. Our lands are terrible again. I mean I guess we only have like the problem is like these are double blue, but Thank you. Who would know? Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, welcome back. Man, a ton of resubs today. You guys are great. <clears throat> Let's put these here for now. Twenty-five cards. I mean, we have Channel and Wall of Roots. That's pretty good, right? <coughs> Not Wall of Roots. Wall of Roots. Channel and Tooth and Nail. Unknown Pleasures 25. Thank you so much for the resub. For the, for the, oh, this Thank is gifted you. subs. Who would know? Thank you so much for the gifted subs. Really appreciate it, my guys. Cut Venser. Yeah, I agree. I can Thank see Venser you. getting, getting a, getting a chop. <coughs> Let's sort by mana cost now. I can pull you over a little bit. Thank you. I don't actually like Elves of Deep Shadow. I know that's weird. It just doesn't add to our colors. It takes deals of damage. Like, we already have Devoted, Incubation, Carry Added, and Wall of Roots. All of our two drops produce mana. And it's nice that we only have two two white cards fractured in Night of Autumn. And Night we can get with uh, Tooth and Nail, which is nice if we really need to. <clears throat> yeah, this seems good. I like this a lot. Um... I also see Mirari's Wake over, like, Thrag Tusk in the main deck. I mean, if this was Avacyn's Pilgrim, we'd 100% play it, but the black is not really helping us. So... <clears throat> yeah, 
yeah, I picked up that Trasani deliberately because I think it's very, very good when this format has a lot of control magic y things. Alright, let's see what we need here. Our two we have three blue cards, two of them are double blue, but they're very, very good. Um Yes, yeah, so we have one, two, five blue sources, including Solemn Simulacrum, uh, Sylvan Carry Added, and Incubation Druid if we have a blue. Um, one Plains is actually just fine. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, I guess we can go 8 here, because these are all... We have four green sources here, which is 12. And we don't have Rafello, so we're not super heavy on forests. Alright. Well, guys... Let's see how terrible our deck is. <laughs> um... You know what? I'm game. I'll keep it. Oh. Well, that's sad. <laughs> well, I, if, no matter which one you take, it's still bad for us. So that's, yep, that's rough. Oh, there's tons of cards I wish they'd take out. <clears throat> Yep. No Draga Tree Speakers. Are they going to Thoughtseize us now? They're going to punish me for playing Mox Pearl? For not playing Mox Pearl? Oh, they hit Blightsteel? That's fine. We're going to draw a channel, though. It's going to feel real silly. <coughs> Woodfall Primus. I'm just going to play this, because now if they have, like... I mean, the odds of them having a way to remove this on board is much lower than the odds of them having a way to make us discard it. Having a good time, having a good time. I'll change this tip. You can attack with only lands. Oh, I like that. Oh, all right. That's cool. I also like that you can only attack with, like, you can attack without, with, uh, with, like, token creatures as well. Not allowed to attack. Can only attack with lands. Land. Four drop. I guess we can actually play Knight of Autumn here. If you don't want to do that in text, do you mind if I change my to switch play? Yeah, for sure. That's fine. Although, Danny, I have no idea what number it is. Really crossing our fingers they don't have a languish or a damnation here. Do you have a virus going around? Just... <laughs> oh, really hoping they don't have language for damnation. No, just toxic deluge. Why do I even fucking talk? Recurring nightmare with zero creatures on the board. Tapped land. Super cool. Probably the coolest. Grave Titan. Yep. Can't beat a Grave Titan at this at this board, so. Yep, land, land, yep, cool. Yep. And this is why. Should Frank play Animal Crossing? 
Katie was going to buy me a Switch, and then she was like, ooh, these are expensive. <clears throat> oh, yeah, scavenging isn't bad here. I just, I, I got distracted because, like, I didn't see any other creatures besides Grave Titan, so I'm like, what are they even going to get back? And that's actually fine because you get to take one of the two. Probably Devoted Druid because it's real good. <clears throat> Incubation Druid. Interesting. But nobody ever told me it's the wrong way. Fascinating. Oh, here we are. Three lands again, guys. Let's see if we can hit the magical fourth land and turn to play the it's time to play the two four drops in our hand. That's not gonna show me anything. Or if we can just have a, a nice hasty 01. Can you confirm what humans look like? You're the first one I've seen for six days. Nailed it. Thank you. This webcam is nicer, isn't it? Like Kid Cabbage, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. They gave him all that they had to give. Ophiomancer, Liliana. Oh boy. <coughs> Man, you guys are, you guys are something. Oracle of Mold. Oh fucking Christ! It's not like we're playing fewer lands. Like, it's not like we're playing fucking 15 lands in the deck. We're playing 17 lands. Like, I guess they have one card in hand, so that's, that's where they go land, mind twist you. Oh, your hand is literally just mox, mo mox land. Okay. Super weird. God. Where's a deranged hermit when you need one? Yep. Discard all the seven drops. <sighs> I guess they get the Dreadlord Arganist to get back a Vampiric Tutor. Guys, remember that time we talked about how I would lose to Mana Screw even though I had a really good deck? <clears throat> well, here we are, guys. Here we are. I mean, I'm going to keep the channel in case we draw like Mirror Battle Sphere or Kozilek. Playing like Blightsteel Colossus doesn't do much. Brett, what's going on, dude? My sub could drink if it was months ahead of <laughs> months instead of years. <coughs> cool. Yep, seems good. That was a fun match. I had a really good time. Uh, I got to play a lot of Magic, and uh, I'm I'm feeling good. How did I top eight at Pro Tour? It's literally the luckiest time I've ever been in Magic. How lucky would you say you were that weekend of the PT? I see what you're saying right now. Quite lucky. Quite lucky. 
All right, well, I feel like this channel could be very good. It doesn't matter. They'll just make us discard it, I'm sure. How badly did you hurt MTGO for it to treat you this way? <clears throat> I'd like to think I've been good for it for the past, you know, 15 years or so. Not the worst they could see, but still pretty bad for them, I would imagine. Unless they went, like, planes balance. That would be funny. <coughs> Shock isn't on Blue Tron land. Oh, uh, Shock Trooper, we've reached end times. That's pretty funny. I mean, they're just going to go, they're just going to go swamp, uh, damnation, right? And then we're going to be like, well, one, two, three, four. Well, let's see if they got it. Black Source Damnation. They can Toxic Deluge for, for seven. Nope, that's a, that's a land. That's a white land. Can't Supreme Wrath or Day of Judgment or Moat. How much of your luck did you exchange for your Pro Tour Top 8? All of it. <clears throat> Everything. Oh man. Oh man. Opposition. Life in the fast lane. Oh, we they dead. All right. We did it. What was your favorite part of the pro tour? It's a good question. It's a good question. Life in the fast lane. Okay. Okay. Um, it's not bad. It was not the gut shot, but I really don't mind the gut shot. So like, I have to, I have to answer this all the time. Everyone's like, don't you hate gut shot? And I'm like, no, not even a little bit. <clears throat> <clears throat> so if we can draw let's draw Mox so we can play Vivian Reed well that's not what we're looking for but hey that's okay one two three we have four mana boom ba -doom, boom boom <coughs> oh what up Chad wasn't that a one of uh maybe I actually don't remember you could definitely find his deck list, I'm sure. I had used Prime Titan and a copy of it to search out every land in my deck and had to sack down to five lands with all eight plus mana cards in my hand. Oh, Jesus. Oh, look, they got a Mirror Battle Sphere too. I bet they're probably doing some tinkering shenanigans. Oh no. Greensums. Destroy a target artifact, enchantment, or creature with flying. Nah, B, I'm good. <clears throat> oh god. Let's get prime time. Next turn, it'll be the primest of times. The primaris powerhouse of times. Are they coming both at both at big vivs? Okay, okay. The MTGO randomizer algorithm. For each card, if Frank card index random available slots, else is is land to the bottom. <laughs> This is what Brett just sent. Oh, Jesus. 
<clears throat> okay, that's actually hilarious. Uh, how's the situation in Florida? I could not tell you since I've lived in Ohio for the past mm, two months now. Oh, they played Winter Orb. That's great. Oh, that's so good. Good for them. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> oh, did I say Ohio? I meant Utah. It's neither... <laughs> It's neither it's neither Ohio nor Colorado guys it's Utah um guys I don't know where I live okay just leave me alone I wish I could take this Mox Emerald. Biscuits. Thank you. Do I want to play this Wall of Roots? Next turn we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. No, I don't think so. Tireless Tractor. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. I appreciate you. Man, you guys are great today. This has been a this has been a real solid, real enjoyable sub train. <coughs> choo choo People all over the world. Join hands. Join a sub train. A sub train. Yeah, even Katie didn't know I moved to Ohio. Did they just hard cast that? Wow, that's wild. So do I just tooth and nail? I put crater hoof and blight steel. That seems pretty that seems pretty bonkers, right? This guy's got defender. I guess it doesn't do anything really. <clears throat> just put blight steel in prime time. I guess we have to we have to find a land first, so let's see what we can We didn't we didn't find a land, guys. So they can actually activate, get back their mirror battles their walking ballista. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do it for four. They can kill incubation druid. Two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. I just really hate taking Knight to kill this because it's like then they get to untap all their lands first. Is that stupid? That seems stupid, right? <clears throat> what time in Mountain MST do you usually stream? Uh, I don't have a... I, I have not had a, a, a proper stream time yet. Yeah, I'll just take night. It's whatever. I don't like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> I guess we're just gonna do it. Oh, but then they just they just emery it back. That's just terrible, right? Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Man, you guys really tricked me here. Then they get to untap their land, target the Winter Orb, and then replay the Winter Orb. Yeah, let's target this idiot. Green and you. Wall of Rudy Tooties. We probably should have played Wall first, then we could have used Wall to target Knight so they have one extra mana next turn. <coughs> I mean, they can just replay the ring, sure, but, like, that's their turn, I guess. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, six mana again. 
Winter Orb is a fun card. Are they just going to play their Sol Ring? Sure. If we hit a land, we can just go Tooth and Nail and probably attack with a bunch of guys. And then we also get to put a Blightsteel Colossus into play, which they just might not have an answer for. Land. One, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> so we get six. Consecrated Sphinx doesn't do anything. It just resets us a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. I mean, like, so we want seven so we can go Crater Hoof into Mere Battle Sphere, which would actually straight up win the game. So I'm pretty sure we're just going to actually put five on put five on it. <laughs> Primeval doesn't do anything because like we're just the, the lands are just going to be tapped. Concentrated Sphinx doesn't do anything because it doesn't uh, uh, keep us ahead on board. We can actually just make this a bigger thing next turn. <clears throat> I'm just going to pass here. Because if we can just go tooth and nail into Crater Hoof Battle Sphere, it's probably at the end times. I mean, assuming we survive this turn. Yep. You do have to have five on it, and that's a true story. Oh, Smokey McStackerson, huh? Well, <clears throat> that's a thing, I guess. Oh, the problem is we don't really want to tap this for our... for our Tooth and Nail, because it's one less attacker. But I think we'll have one, two, three... four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight, sixteen... Five, yeah, that still should be lethal, maybe... <clears throat> Are you guys asking me questions in chat? I was pretty sure Katie was was on it. Oh, they're just going to get walking Burlista. Walking Bur Burlista for three. Okay. And we're going to pump this in response, otherwise we get the, they're going to shoot it down. Uh, Hoof doesn't give haste, but it has haste. So, I don't know what your problem is. I don't know what your problem is, Haas. <laughs> I got five on it. Uh, let's adapt. Let's add one of these guys. Adapt three. One, two, three, four. I mean, you can kill Knight of Autumn now, which is actually pretty bad. That does change our plan, unfortunately. Wow, look at that sub with a with a with a bandana on it. And that Mike B with a bandana. Those are great. Oh, land that comes in and play tapped. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight mana right now. <coughs> eight manus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What's next, baby or wet babies or wedding bells? Probably wedding bells before babies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It leaves Sylvan carry added up to attack. But as soon as we put this on the stack, they're going to shoot this. So we're going to have Crater Hoof and Mere Battle Sphere in play, only attacking with the Crater Hoof. So I guess we're just playing this guy. Two, three, four. Oh, God, you always have to activate this thing first. <clears throat> and one, two. And we'll play Lumbering Falls. Because why not? Oh, wow, you're just going to force a will of that. Oh, boy. What did you even exile? Fucking <laughs> artisan, sure.
I mean, we have nothing to do, so I'm just going to have six here. We have no responses to anything. Our hand is full of big, expensive idiots. <coughs> look at Frank so traditional. Utah already affecting you. It's true. Oh, wow. Look at that cat with the... With the with the the leprechaun hat. <clears throat> yep, gonna keep taking gonna keep taking three here, I guess. I gotta refill my drink. It looks so good, <clears throat> Hajigulashi. Lodestone Golem, sure. I'll untap my Dooley Land. That's pretty decent, I guess. So we got one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight mana now. Hmm. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We could chump block this if we really, really have to. <clears throat> Three, four, five. So we have three, four, five. We actually have six mana that we can use here without without being penalized. Which is pretty decent. One, two, three, four, five. This is eight. It lets us tooth and nail next turn and keep incubation druid up. Losing mere battle sphere has been pretty rough though. They have no cards in hand. That's pretty good. And next turn they're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. Okay. Okay. trying to think of what to do here guys i mean i feel like primal titan crater hoof with this board is probably hook and blight still you mean hoof well because hoof doesn't do anything right now it's just a blank five five so i'd almost rather put in like consecrated sphinx and blight steel but that doesn't like necessarily win us the game i mean yeah they're probably going to start looping ballista with with Emery, but I mean, like, that's going to take a, quite a few turns. I mean, because if we Tooth and Nail put in Crater Huff and Blightsteel, like, Blightsteel doesn't get haste, so we're just going to attack with just Crater Huff because this guy's going to die. They're just going to shoot it for one in response. So then we just attack for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess that's pretty good, but then, like, it doesn't even matter really because then it's just a five, five next turn that gets blocked by this guy. And, I mean, Blightsteel and Sphinx actually seems pretty decent. But my, my point is, like, we can just play something for cheap, like a Consecrated Sphinx right now. <clears throat> and then next turn we have Crater Hoof and Consecrated Sphinx, which is probably stronger in the long run. Or we can just play Primeval Titan. Basalt Monolithan Pass doesn't do, really do anything, like, because we don't need more mana, we need more bodies on the board. Like, more mana doesn't do anything. It lets us only... All it does is let us cast Tooth and Nail with Entwine. But, like, we have the creatures in hand. So I'm pretty sure we just want to play Titan right now. <clears throat> uh, one. And we are going to put the lands into play. We'll put Wildwood and a Botanical Sanctum out here. So now we we also have a blocker for the Lodestone Golem. And if they want to just shoot it with Walking Ballista, that's fine. Maybe it's not fine. We'll see. We'll see how we feel about it. There you go. Three. They have six mana. We already went over this.
Subway because I work today. Eat fresh. Okay, so that's that's actually pretty good for us. So I think if we get to untap here, we just get to crush. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> so that'll be tooth and nail. We can put in the blight steel just for funsies. And we're just hoping they didn't top deck a counter spell, I guess. Because this also leaves... We're going to shoot this in response, I presume. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is going to be six plus six plus six as the bonus. It's 18 plus five, 23. So they're going to have to block four of it. Three, four. I mean, they'll 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 be pretty well depleted. And we'd still have a primeval titan and a crater huff on the board. And a, and a blight steel, presumably. So we'll see. I had one whole order so far. Ugh, God. I mean, I've been ordering takeout pretty regularly, but, uh, or, or delivery, I guess. <coughs> but still, it's a lot different than, like, going out to a meal, you know? <clears throat> they discarded phantasmal image that's interesting well a lot of places don't deliver but you can go like doordash or grubhub you know and they just pick it up from your place uh what are they copying is this metal worker sure sounds good Slalom Simulacrum, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> yeah, all right. Let's just put two creatures. Let's put a counter on you. Sweet city one month. Boo -doo 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 -doo. They're gonna be like, days. I'm pretty sure Consecrated Sphinx is just better here. Oh, wow, they didn't respond. Oh, that's probably game then. Wow. Oh, if they responded and killed Walking Ballista and Wall of Roots, not only would these guys get negative two, negative two, but. Um. Oh, wow, that's... Oh, boy. That's the end, I guess. <laughs> well, that's just a game one, right? This was not... This is not good games. This is just good game. Singular... Oh, that's the match. Oh, the first game I had the Mirror Battle Sphere, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, that was something. Oh, look at Leprechaun Michael B. <laughs> oh, Bigora. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I love a turn one wall of roots and I love it when my hand is set up perfectly for channel. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know. <clears throat> I 
Although having a 10 drop and a 12 drop in your hand is not the best, but... We're getting there. Oh, look, look, somebody's got a breeding pool and a temple garden. Must be nice. Danny, have a good afternoon, buddy. <clears throat> oh, interesting. One, two, three. I guess we're just playing nothing. All right, sounds bad. This whole quarantine thing has been super good for my health. Now I'm eating more healthy meals at home, setting more sunlight, seeing more sunlight and exercise, and I'm getting generally less stressed. We should do this all the time. <laughs> John, knowing your knowing your wacky uh, rock star lifestyle, I uh, I'm not surprised this has been a, a a nice little turn for you. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. I think we're just dead here, even though we had a uh, supposedly great start because. We've drawn all mana sources and nothing to actually play, so. <clears throat> oh, Hunter's dreaming in the background. Yep, Avenger of Zendikar is pretty good. They only have one card in hand, though, so let's... Guy, can, can you hear him, guys? I don't actually know what this is. Rattleclaw Mystic is... Or Den Protector. It's probably Den Protector. So they're probably going to get back Windswept Heath, put two counters on all their things, and uh, call it a day. Cool, two lands. Nice. <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> cool. Untap into opposition. Wow, it's always the really good hands that you feel really good about. Those are the ones that always end up really doing nothing while your opponent just plays the exact perfect things they need. <clears throat> you know what? I'll keep it. Again, we're living dangerously. <clears throat> Oh, all right. Are they attacking? <clears throat> That's wild. I'll block. Guys, they weren't attacking. Can you can you believe it? I like an opposition here. We can also untap this and tap down one of their, their tree speaker on their upkeep, right? That seems decent. Oh, untap you. Let's go there. Let's go to their turn. I'll tap two in response. Oh, they didn't. Good for them. Good for them. Bing, ba -ding, bing, bing. Boom, 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 bo
no white source, huh? Tap down you. Hmm. Let's play you. Play Wildwood. And pass. I mean, I think it's a den protector. I thought it was a rattle claw mystic, but I'm pretty sure it's a den protector. So we probably should have tapped down forest, I guess. And they have five mana instead of four. That's fine. Especially if you don't want to land afterwards. All right, all right. <clears throat> So we can actually fracture identity of the Draga Tree Speaker. Have three things to tap down. I don't know if that's any good though. Hmm. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Next turn we can I think we do want to get some mana here. I don't think it's Lotus Cobra. It's obviously not this. I don't think it's Wall of Roots. Although we can't tap down Wall of Roots effectively, so maybe it actually is Wall of Roots. This is not that... Like, so we tap this. We have three things to tap, right? We have one, two, three. <clears throat> Seems pretty good. Oh, yeah, we can actually probably just scroll up. I don't think Rattleclaw's in the cube. Uh, so it'd be up here. Den Protector. Yep. That's what I figured. Yeah, I think I like having this as uh, as a way to get mana without actually having to tap it, so. And now we can actually go to... <coughs> no attackers. I will not be attacking with my negative 1-1 one, one devoted druid. Got it. Oh, we just won the game. <clears throat> All right. Well, that was decent. That's kind of how you want to do it. You make Winter Orb look fun. Well, you know what they say. For El Luncho. Uh, Tireless Tracker doesn't seem better than anything else we have, though. <coughs> Come on, let's just do Channel into Big Fat Idiot. Oh, we're so close. Oh, we're real close. Oh, this hand is... Oh, and we're on the draw. So we have Mirror Battlesphere, Kozilek, and Blightsteel. Definitely keeping this. Come on, come on. I mean, either way, we can play Sylvan Carry Added on turn turn one, which is just fine. And then if they do have Opposition, we have Knight of Autumn, which is great. Come on, cause luck one time. Ding, ba -ding, ding. Sylvan Library? I'll kill Sylvan Library. What is all this trouble that they're having with the two mana? Oh, Green Sun for one. Fascinating. That's fine. That's relatively slow right at this juncture. Oh, biscuits. This is what I was afraid of happening, Thank unfortunately. <laughs> Sarcastatron, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back, my dude. I don't want to cast Knight. They just have too many good cards against it. And plus, we get a free turn here because they're going to just level up their tree speakers. Like you do.
Yep. <clears throat> yeah, let's. Yeah, we can destroy our own mocks with the knight. That's actually pretty solid. Come on, one time. Don't do me. Don't do me dirty. I'm wincing. Fuck, that's not it at all. Uh, one, two, three. I guess we're not. We don't have to tap that. I don't know. I was thinking like, oh, I was thinking for some reason we're playing Knight of Autumn. Yeah, we'll just play Basalt Monolith, I guess. Here we go. This is what happens. You get the channel and you get nothing. Uh, why not make 4-3? Because if they play opposition, we can't win. So I want to be make sure we have an answer to opposition. Like, against the ramp deck, a 4-3 is only getting in there, like, two times before they play, like, Avenger of Zendikar or some... Yep, exactly. This is exactly why we didn't do it. Because it just doesn't do anything. <sighs> Love Magic the Gathering. It's my absolute favorite game. <clears throat> so, if they play opposition here, we're just dead. Because they have, what, 4, 5, 6, 7? And they can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Seven. Tap everything but the wall of roots. So I guess hope you don't have opposition. While like you can draw your one opposition, we can't draw like one of our four cards that actually I mean we could have drawn Wood Woodfall Primus. Um Okay, no, no, no dude. Oh god. Why did they not plus when they have like infinite guys on board? They could have just plussed and like probably killed us with overrun next turn. That's weird. I guess like I don't know, man. Like <laughs> Oh, love it. This is decidedly not Bazorpals, my dude. <clears throat> if you guys on YouTube were ever wondering why I complain about mana so frequently. Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 cards that produce mana to, uh, hold on, let me, hold on, let me do a quick count. Um, one card that does not produce mana. Craterhoof Behemoth. I guess we're dead because we didn't draw anything and our opponent did draw their things. Cool. Always a pleasure. Always an absolute... <laughs> draw four. So we could have went two green for channel, play Kozilek, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, channel, whatever, kill this. Of course it's going to be a fucking one too, because you have no control over Magic Online and it's absolutely abhorrent shuffler. But, uh, you know, what can you do? Thanks for watching, guys. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on uh, twitch.tv slash frankleport, patreon.com slash frankleport, uh, coolstuffinc.com and manatraders.com. All of those things are, are linked and promoted down below, so you can check those out. And uh, hopefully you guys will have better luck uh, randomly drawing a configuration of Magic the Gathering cards than I do. And... Uh, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching, guys.